Mm -hmm. You know, perjury, mm -hmm. uh, lying, yes. Uh, vicarious performance, performance bonus, yes. And I, I like to know those performance bonuses. Mm -hmm. Perjury, yes. Mm -hmm. Perjured, um, to perjure. So, uh, the actor instance of a person's deliberately making false or misleading statements while under oath. Yes. Now, I would think the petitioner was under oath when she petitioned the court for dissolution of marriage. Heidi Lee Budneck. <laughs> Is that Ms. Budneck, the teacher in the 6th to 8th grades in the Brendan School District? Yes. Or is that Mrs. Budneck? <laughs> Are you still my wife? <clears throat> See, it's somewhat frustrating, isn't it, that you got married yes. in Kosovo to a man mm -hmm, that for 10 years of marriage went through all those difficult, difficult times. Yes. But I took into consideration the first need of our family, mm -hmm, the education of Jessica. Yes. I bought a little house in Squim, Washington for us to move into when we got married. Yes. I was a financial consultant at Squim, mm -hmm, Port Angeles and Port Towns and Washington Mutuals. Yes. And then when Deacon was born, yes, I fasted and prayed for 11 days and I thought, you know what? Mm -hmm. I think the Lord wants me to do something different. Mm -hmm. I started a business, James Thomas and King Financial Services. Oh, Zachary James, Ouch. Bishop Thomas oh. and Deacon King mm -hmm. had a little office at 224 West Washington Street. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But we were having a problem with Jessica's education at the Helen Haller Elementary School there in Squim. Mm. And we decided as a family, yes, we did, mm -hmm. that we'd sell the house there at 323 West First Street. And we, mm, we moved to Vancouver. We were going to rent a place. That's what I wanted to do. But Heidi was like, no, we, we need to buy a place. And it just so happened the day that we were going to leave Vancouver, mm, 2204, mm, McLaughlin Boulevard became available. Yes. It was a nice house. It was a new house. Only had one owner. Yes. Recently constructed. Mm. It fit our little family so good. It fitted so good. Mm. We lived there for four years while Jessica went to the WSSB because of her braille. Mm. Her mobility needs. Yes. I was the powerlifting coach the first year we were there. Mm. But then things got difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had a 750 credit score. Yes. And I did try to build some businesses during the credit crisis. Yes. But eventually we couldn't short sell the house, so we had to let it go. Mm -hmm. So we drilled through the state. We went to uh, Spokane. Yes. Do you remember that Norwegian woman when we went out there and we looked at that house and thought that'd be a nice rental, but our credit wasn't that good at that time? Yes. But eventually, we got an email from an individual that had recently lost his wife. Yes. Mm. Moved into a 2,200 square foot home. Yes. Fully furnished with every kind of furniture you would want. Yes. Pull out couches. <clears throat> In fact, he gave us his bed. Ouch! <laughs> the, do you remember that? Yes, he does. Oh. Then Heidi had seen on the YouTube how mm -hmm, Guam was going to tip over because of the amount of money the military was going to spend there. <laughs> we moved to Guam when she was seven months pregnant. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> we did the research. Do you remember? Yeah. We lived with Debbie. Yes. Mm -hmm. And her husband we rented a room. <laughs> the Rodriguez's. They went to St. Paul's Assembly of God Church. <laughs> I made sure that when we got there, there was somebody there to meet us at the airport. Yes. So that we had used our contacts in Christianity yes. to protect our family from the uncertainties of moving someplace else. Wow, 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 wow. 